Now, I know better than to answer when Donna calls me on the phone, but I never heed that knowledge, and I always pick up. This time, she called with an idea brewing. Not wanting to break my no-buy right out of the gate in 2024, I thought about Donna's challenge proposal and brewed a few ideas of my own. I emailed her and asked if she trusted me, and that was her first clue that I was up to something. Then I proceeded to pack a shipping box of treasures and our thrift store throwdown was off to the races. Hi, I'm Amy and I make things. Today, I'm making good on a promise and a challenge with my friend Donna. Come on, let's see how it goes. Of course, I didn't pack a box of just any fabrics. I packed this. Check it out. She beat me to the punch because she sent me this fun box. Donna, come play with me. You asked for a challenge. Be careful what you asked for. Have the most fun, Amy. So let's have a look, see what I've got to, I get to play with. <laughs> it looks like we've split the fabric. <laughs> well done, Amy. Well done. So let's see. We've got half of a shirt. And another half of a shirt. When she says we have duplicate fabric, she was not kidding. She literally cut the shirts in half. Way to go. A lot of them are really springy, and I like that a lot. Looks like this might have been a pair of shorts at one point. <laughs> oh, God, Amy. Polka dots and pink at that. Stripes of all different kinds. Some gingham. <laughs> she made sure I even had a cuff. This is going to be fun. And for the twist. She gave me a little hunk of denim and some blue gingham with another cuff. Donna had an action-packed calendar leading up to spring, and it only got more crowded. So, of course, she designed and finished her quilt lickety-split and then teased me all along because I had to finish several commitments before I could work on the quilt. But I was pumped. Then all heck broke loose around here with machine repairs and scheduling, but it is finished in the nick of time, and here it is. I have my patented sliding quilt system helping me today. Can you go just a little reach? <laughs> Thank you. Okay, come down just a little. Show more. Thank you. I used EQ8, that's Electric Quilt 8, a design software, to design and color my block for use with the AccuQuilt Cube cutting system. It was really great as it gave me the count of each shape that I needed to cut, which was awesome. We had to use each and every fabric in the box and I could only add one yard of fabric for the top. I used a tiny bit of blue because I ran out of that blue gingham and about a half yard of white for the pinwheels. In the spirit of the challenge for the backing, I used a sheet I had on hand and then Anna got to quilting. The quilting is amazing.
just have to recalibrate and remember which way I'm going. Thank you so much, Anna. Anna custom quilted this on an intense deadline and did a beautiful job. I used my favorite No Miters binding, linked in the cards and down below, and I added my signature red and white polka dots, and here we are. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Here's the thing, even with all of the obstacles, I had the most fun playing in the quilting playground with Donna and jiving back and forth. Donna is a champion of all quilters and all quilting, and I am truly honored to call her friend. I believe Donna has special plans for these quilts, so if you haven't already, please go check out her reveal linked below. And thank you so much, Donna, for inviting me to play. I cannot wait to see what hair-brained awesome ideas we come up with next. Don't forget to watch Donna's video and subscribe to her channel. And don't forget that you make the world more beautiful just by being in it. I'm Amy, and I'll see you next time.